<laughs> you've got your Christmas tree ready to go, all set. But if you're not careful, your tree can lead to Christmas tragedy. Watch how fast a dry Christmas tree can burn. In just a matter of seconds, it's consumed. And those flames can spread quickly through your house. And a burning candle, if left alone, can cause similar damage. We're seeing about an average of about 100 Christmas tree fires and about 1,100 candle-related fire uh, incidents during the holiday season. Nikki Fleming with the Consumer so Product again, Safety Commission says you want to be smart when you're decorating for the holidays. If you're choosing a fresh, uh, fresh tree, you want to make sure you're always keeping it watered. You want to choose a tree that's fresh. Um, check the needles on that tree. Make sure it's not brittle or breaking off before you bring it into the home. And if you're choosing an artificial tree, you want to look for that flame-resistant label on the packaging before you per make that purchase. And if you're reusing the same tree or lights from last year? You want to look and check and make sure uh, there's no broken sockets or broken wires or frayed wires uh, on the tree or the lights themselves. If so, you, you may have to get rid of that product altogether and start again and get a new one. The CPSC says there are typically 200 decorating related injuries every day during the holidays. Last year, six people died, many from falls. So when you're putting those holiday decorations up, using a ladder and other items, you want to make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions for that and also maybe have a second person around to help support you. Now, a lot of people like to leave their lights on at night, but the Consumer Product Safety Commission says make sure you turn them off when you go to bed, Rebecca, that way in case there's any sort of electrical short, it doesn't start a fire while you're sleeping. Yeah, uh, timers can help with that a lot, but this is also the same truth for candles, right? Absolutely. Don't leave candles burning when you go to bed or even when you're leaving the room for a long period of time. Another alternative are flameless candles. They're battery operated. You turn them on like this, they've got a little flicker in there and it looks like a real candle without the burning danger. But then again, I don't like to leave these alone and on when I go to bed. So I turn these off as well, Rebecca.